What up and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I had a few people asking me to put together a video that covered more than just one gun that we can build from level 1 traders. Now work has been really hectic and I apologize that it took me so long to get this out for you, but hopefully it will still be a valuable resource for some. First up we have one of the tried and true guns in the earlier levels, the SKS and the OP SKS variant. These things have some serious stopping power and can carry you pretty far into your Tarkov adventure. The standard SKS purchased from Papor for around 22,000 rubles isn't very modular and has a 10 round internal mag that has to be top loaded during raid, which can be a pain, but it's also nice that you don't have to worry about grabbing extra mags or remembering to pack mags in between raids. Just make sure you have a stack of ammo in your pocket and you're good to go. Now be sure to load the mag before you take her out for the first time. All you have to do is remove the mag, load in the ammo making sure to drop around into the chamber as well, and then reinstall the mag. The OP SKS can be picked up from Jaeger for around 33,000 rubles and comes with a dovetail mount installed so we can attach a sight to the top of this thing. Propor sells both the Belomo PSO, which is a magnified scope for around 22,000 rubles, or the Cobra Red Dot Reflex sight for around 10,000 rubles. Make sure you grab the dovetail variant of the Cobra and not the rail mounted one. Propor also sells the Cobra Sight Shade for about 100 rubles. It attaches directly to the front of the Cobra site and gives us a few extra points of ergonomics and is well worth picking up. It's also worth noting that Peacekeeper also sells 20 round external mags for around 80 USD if you'd like the option to reload more quickly in raid. Moving on to the ADAR, available from Skier for around 45,000 rubles. This is a semi-auto rifle that can punch through a lot of the early level armors and can still be devastating to more geared players if you can get the jump on them. Grab yourself some 30 round mags from Peacekeeper for around 20 USD, replace the massive front sight with the Daniel Defense Gas Block from Mechanic for 5,000 rubles, and slap whichever sight you prefer on the top rail, and you're good to go. For the ability to mod this gun further, Peacekeeper will exchange an emergency water ration, which are pretty common wherever food can spawn, for the AR-15 Daniel Defense Handguard, which will replace the wooden one. The new handguard will accept a foregrip and a tactical light that will disorient your opponents. My choice of foregrip on a semi-auto weapon is the KAC Vertical Crypt that Peacekeeper sells for around 30 USD, and you can also slap on the Surefire XC1 flashlight from Mechanic for around 19,000 rubles. Also available from Skier, my go-to early weapon, the Vepper 136, which I covered building in a previous video, so I won't be going into detail on that this time. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like, and if you want more details, you can go check out the video showcasing that gun. Lastly, I want to talk about one of the better barter weapons at level 1 traders, which is the MP5 from Peacekeeper. He'll trade you one for 8 of the A-2607 knives, which is one of the most common melee weapons found on scavs, so be sure you're holding onto these when you come across them. The MP5 doesn't offer much in the way of modding at level 1 traders, but it's a killer straight out of the box. Stock up on extra 30 round mags from Peacekeeper for around 40 USD, load them up with PST rounds and spray your load all over the enemy. Uh, all of the enemies. And those are just a few of the more efficient, unaliving machines that we can get at level 1 traders. Don't forget to drop a comment down below and like the video if you found any of this information helpful or like the format. It really does help the YouTube algorithm to push this video out to help more people and consider subscribing to the channel for more Tarkov content in the future. Be sure to check out my links in the description to join the Discord community or even catch me on live streams. Catch you guys on the next one.